There are links to my Twitch, Twitter, and Discord, as well as my tip video playlist below. So with the new season being released, Operation Void Edge, we're getting a new attacker, Ayana. Now, a lot of you that are watching this video already know what she can do, but if you don't, she has a hologram similar to Alibi. In this case, Ayana can control her own hologram. So in this video, I'm gonna try to give you a few ways that you can play Ayana to her fullest potential. So tip number one is using her hologram as a drone. Now, a lot of people are already doing this, but if you haven't thought of this idea, it can be used extremely well. Now, moving on to the second tip, which can also apply to the first one, is using her hologram to refrag off of. So if you don't know what refragging is, it's basically when your teammate dies and you're there within a distance to get that kill or trade on the enemy that just killed your teammate. So what this allows you to do with Ayana is you can activate her gadget, send it through a room, and then have an entry fragger enter right behind that hologram. The defender shoots said hologram, and then the attacker that is entering the building right behind your hologram can kill that enemy. And if you want to take this a step further, you can also have a third person droning in, as well as the entry and the hologram to gain additional intel and possibly get a ping on the defender that had just shot the hologram. Tip number three, which I'm not seeing a lot of people use her for, because most of the time when you do have an Ayana on your team, she's either doing her own thing in a solo push, or she's already dead. Which this tip three is, using her in a post-plant situation. So the way the hologram works is, you can control it basically how you can control your own character. So you can sprint, lean, prone, crouch, whatever you can think of, but you cannot shoot. That's the only downside. So if you're using her in post-plant situations, say a 1v1, and you don't know where the defender is, you can activate your hologram. Now they will get a sound cue, but let's say if the defender's downstairs, they necessarily won't hear it. So you can activate your hologram either from outside or in the room that you're in, and then you can run around upstairs, distracting the enemy, thinking that you're in one position, but you're actually in the other. Tip number five is similar into the aspect of using her as a drone, which is you can use her hologram to look for utility. Now you do have direct counters to our hologram like bandit shock wire on barbed wire, as well as mute jammers, but you'll either see the bandit battery on some sort of barbed wire or you'll start getting mute pings. So what this allows you to do is you can enter a room or doorway, look for ADS's, lesion mines, frost traps, whatever it is. And if you didn't know, Ayana's hologram does not trigger any sort of trap operator. So that'd be Capcan, Ella, Frost, Lesion, any trap operator that is in the game on the defender side, Ayana will not trigger those traps. So you can send her hologram down stairs into a site or through a doorway you can look for ads's you can look for maestro evil eyes any piece of utility that can give your team a better advantage on their utility placement tip number six which i see a lot of mistakes being made when people are playing ayana is when someone is playing ayana and they're just running their hologram straight into a room expecting it to get shot now this goes back to how i was saying ayana's hologram can crouch prone sprint lean whatever you want well it can do all of that as well as it sounds exactly like ayana herself so there's no difference in visual or audio between the actual character herself and the hologram so if you play the hologram and mimic player movements you can really get inside of the enemy's head and make them think that you're in one room or doorway when you're actually on the opposite side of them tip number six which i put a lot of thought and time into which is playing her on more of a supportive role so not necessarily doing your own thing and solo pushing how i said previously but using her hologram as a supportive role to gather intel so with Ayana, she has an infinite amount of holograms. So if you can keep her alive for the whole three minutes of a round, you can basically look at it as an infinite amount of drones. So keep this tip in mind when you're playing Ayana in the new season and try to help your team more than try to help yourself. And the final and last tip here is using her as a flank watcher. So I said previously that she can mimic player movements. So if you know someone's flanking or near a staircase, then you can send your hologram that way. You can start sprinting around the map near that staircase and make the player think that it's trying to flank that there's actually someone in that area and if you want to take this tip a step further you can send your hologram towards the enemy that's trying to flank and then send a teammate with the hologram itself and once the flanking enemy shoots the hologram you can have the teammate next to the hologram immediately kill the flanker that is trying to go up the staircase now i hope this video helped you out in some way i'm also going to make a tip video on how to play oryx i hope you guys enjoyed the video again my twitch twitter discord as well as my tip video playlist is below if you're looking for some different tip videos i have a lot made for example I have videos on how to quick clean, how to drone, um, almost anything you can think of, I have a video on. So there will be a link in the description to that playlist. If you enjoyed the video or helped you out in some way, possibly consider subscribing, hitting the like button. I greatly appreciate it. I stream on Twitch every single day. I would love to see you there and I'll see you guys in the next video.